What is the working principle of JFET? End channel operation of JFET. The working of JFET can be explained by discussing about how to turn on end channel JFET and how to turn off end channel JFET. For turning on a end channel JFET, positive voltage of VDD has to be applied to the drain terminal of the transistor with respect to source terminal such as that the drain terminal must be appropriately more positive than the source terminal. Thus, current flow is allowed through the drain to source channel. If the voltage at the gate terminal VGG is 0 volt, then there will be a maximum current at the drain terminal and end channel JFET is said to be in on condition. For turning off the end channel JFET, the positive bias voltage can be turned off or a negative voltage can be applied to the gear terminal. Thus, by changing the polarity of the gate voltage, the drain current can be reduced and then end channel JFET is also said to be in off condition. Now let's look into P-channel operation of JFET. For turning on P-channel JFET, negative voltage can be applied across the drain terminal of the transistor with respect to source terminal such as that the drain terminal must be appropriately more negative than the source terminal. Thus, the current flow is allowed through the drain to source channel. If the voltage at the gate terminal VGG is 0 volt, then there will be maximum current at the drain terminal and the P-channel JFET is said to be in on condition. For turning off the P-channel JFET, the negative bias voltage can be turned off or positive voltage can be applied to the gate terminal. If the gate terminal is given positive voltage, then the drain current starts reducing until cut off and thus the P-channel JFET is said to be in off condition. 